Oh, I forgot I picked up a blue crystal in the ruins. Oops. Okay, that's 15. That's not enough for the threshold. Get out of the way, Elder. Okay, they're a little stronger. Oh, and Elite. The board starts to shake a little. Your enemies grew stronger. The heck is that thing? Meteor Crusher. Nuked from outer space. If it crits, it can deal almost 2,000. Loki's Dress nullifies fire damage. Hmm. Got the experience bonus. And it restored my hit points, yes. I probably don't need to, but I can just probably one-shot the boss using that Meteor skill. Maybe I should hold off on that and only use it if I'm in a desperate situation. Enemies grew stronger. Hem Rock Flex Energy, he buffed everyone. Illusion of Space. Boreas. Retrieval Mint Hemrock. Huh, I don't even need to use the Meteor move to kill this guy. Just normal attack. <laughs> Max MP grew by three. Almost have as much as Marimba now. Leviathan scale. More equipment that I'll never be able to use. Probably check for any changes around here. No secrets. Okay. How good is attack spam against them? Uh, they're all faster than me. Got it on just the last red node. The sport shakes a little. Enemies grew stronger. Medio Crusher. Enfeeblement. Huh? Did he attack Elsa? Maybe that's why he sh I didn't take any damage. Elsa still has that anti physical uh, attack armor. Archmage's robes.
Hmm, have Spire and Ice. It doesn't completely nullify it, huh? Hmm. Enemies grew stronger. They make scary faces. I dropped the main weapon accessory. Will they show up in my inventory again? If not, I'm gonna reload and just have her do go without anything. For the EXP Star Capsule. It took off my adventurer's ring, but not Ralph Spando. Weird. Okay. It's, maybe it's counting my offhand as well, and that's why. It, no, why did it skip Ralph Spando? That's so weird. But I'm glad I managed to keep all of my armor and weapons. I'd be so mad if I actually lost this forever. Considering what I went through to get it. Time Cleaver. Do I even have... I don't have any duplicates. Like, maybe they have a system in place to make sure you don't get any duplicates of these weapons. I do have duplicates of some of the gears and the ceremonial robe because of that glitch from before. Yeah, I won't be able to encounter that thing again because now that I own a ceremonial gown. But I would have just nuked it with, uh, with the Meteo Crusher anyways. Oh, new Heartberry. Might be a new one here too. No, I guess this one didn't change yet. I was hoping it would so I can actually get the item behind there. Got that one. Nothing hidden here? Oh hey, there's one of them down here. Weird. I finally managed to get into the catacombs. How exciting. I also saw you open that chest over there. Will you tell me what you found inside? Hmm? What did I find inside there again? The adventurer ring? Yes. A ring, huh? That's interesting. But what is it used for? Down here in what appears to have been a prison. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Maybe it was an item of when, when the inmates had stolen? It, that could indeed be a possibility. Well, anyway, thank you for all your, your valuable contribution to science. He seems lost in thought. You decided to advance science by your forbearance. Okay, that was pretty uneventful. I don't know why I have an odd number of heart berries. Did I miss one somewhere? What do we have here? Yeah, I may have to go back and check the files again. I feel a light of a stone taking over my mind. I feel a force inside me, slowly awakening, like an old god crawling out of his forgotten tomb. I am changing. I must have been chosen. This is my destiny. An unknown prophecy is about to fulfill itself, and I am a warrior, the savior. I can see clearly how now this world is so full of wicked beings. How there's nothing that can change them for the good, but death. I have to take care of that. May the brothers and their envoy be with you. I see you see me hurt. You may pray the heroine statue over there to ease your pain. There's no need for me to lay hands on you myself. About this, I'll be honest with you. I am a man of the gods, after all. Oh man, this is so weird. Now, he's, for a moment, he just goes back to generic dialogue. Huh. 
No one's gonna comment about this? Maybe I should talk to the people at the pub. Maybe they're worried about him. Nope. Okay. They got a little stronger, but not enough. I had to restart the board just to get this to, uh, uh, guy to show up. Okay. Here. Meteor Crush. Not taking chances with you. Yeah, I'll heal you after battle. Damn. Just one shots my tank. Just like that. Winter Breeze, I'm guessing it resists ice, right? What's your gimmick? Cause the soil to crack open. Two gazers appear. I never heard of these monsters before. The heck? Pretty strong. Hmm. I don't think the gazers can be removed. They don't even have a hit point bar. Screw it, Meteor Crush. You warrant it. I can- I can tell. Useless. It probably needs to make status effects, but good thing I have Purify. There, let's take you out and work on the Gazers. Assuming they aren't immortal. They're immortal. Oh, god damn. I'm just gonna nuke them all. I'm gonna have to nuke all of them. This is really bad. I don't even know how much hit points they have. Okay. I just need one more meteor and I'm good. No! I'm just gonna have to win without the Meteor. I'm just glad I didn't kill Elsa that time. Ugh. Max MP grew by free. Ow. That was pain. Mirror shield obtained. Okay. I won't have to deal with the demon, but the, I, I know the enemies here are so OP with their AoEs and such. Ugh. At least my illusion of space will do more damage now, but still.
Oh no, I should have used the other AoE, huh? I looked out. What? I'm still. Ha I still have to fight this guy? Oh, huh? it was nothing. Oh. Oh, I guess. I guess. I guess that happens if you already have the equipment. Oh, I would have one shot him as long as I survive his first attack, anyways. Alright, if I can kill them all before they use their instant death move, I'll be happy. Spirit of all actors vanish a bit. Uh, what does that mean? Because I don't see anything happening to us. I guess it's because I had purity. Oh, this meteor crush one of you. That's so OP. Out. One down. One left to go. They have. They'll take the priority, so. Another meteor to the face. Or not. Alright, 36 MP. Could, could I fear. In theory, could I restart the board and just do this all over again just to get more MP? Hmm, that would make it. That would allow me to have really OP healing with cure if I could have a hundred MP or so. Demise. Yes. Now I need to return to the first town. Hmm. Any, any uh, new heart berries? Yes. All right. There's one. The this lava cave too. Oh, what do we have here? Heart berries. Okay. There's how many more left? I have now absorbed all the strange power that the stone possessed. I can feel it. I'm going to change this pathetic world. I'm going to purge all weakness. Then I shall be king of the golden sun, glorious savior of wisdom, a true hero to those who seek the power of knowledge. I shall bring the dawn of a new world. I myself shall be the light it flourishes in, the creator of perfection and everything sublime. Only when all of you are gone, this perfect world can come to existence. When this pile of dirt has been burnt so that life can emerge anew. I can wait. I can wait for the service to recover and bring forth new forms, which I can bend according to my great plan. I shall be the director of a new evolution. And you? Do you really think you are any better than the rest of humanity? Pursuing your little adventure for whatever reason, thinking you have an ever so important quest to fulfill? You two are imperfect and thus need to be raised from the earth. I cannot stand people like you who believe they can change anything. Bloody starry I idealists. But since you are the only one who will ever be involved in my ascent to what you may call a god, I think I shall grant you a, fi a great final experience. There is still some humanity in me, after all, and that I am curious as to your reaction to your my new power. Of course, it does also mean that you get to be annihilated first. Oh, that gaze, that sweet, sweet flame of anger burning in your eyes. Aha, magnificent. You are trying hard to make me laugh, girl, are you not? So if you really want to fight me to release that valiant passion of yours, follow me. Meet me at the top of the heavens, and I shall grant you an honorable death, as you people would call it. A death worthy of a heroine. What? I can't use that to heal anymore? Okay, this just made things a little... Now I'm gonna have to actually break even with my money... 
But that should be easy with the adventure ring. I just gotta kill bats and hope they drop at least three normal potions. And I can heal my robots again. Damn, really? They took away the freaking goddess statue. What a dick. Alright, let's see what this is. A world of... Yeah, the heavenly world, huh? I can't just jump across. Hmm, I can walk through some of the trees like this, huh? What the heck is this? Bael gathered a small group of utterly talented fighters, the Moonlit, and led them to the Heroine's Tower. With powerful magic, however, Alor killed all of them with ease, except for her leader. When she beheld Bael's beauty, she lowered her pure sleep burning sword and made a decision. What the heck is this? Found an inscription. I opened that clo the clothes. Um, what's that supposed to mean? I so want to open that thing now. All these trees. One cent. Are there hidden items up here? There should only be one hidden item left for the snow area, and I don't think this is going to be it. No enemies at all. This guy must be really confident he can beat me. Even with my meteor spamming tactics. Okay, so this is the arena to fight him in. Ceremonial gown, in case he tries anything like that. They have come, ha ha ha. I was not quite sure if you were indeed that stupid. How amusing. Do you really think there is anything you can do now that I possess powers beyond imagination that you would stand a chance against me? Have you not seen what I've built here? These are the heavens, child, and I shall build a whole world just like this. If you are honest, you would... Agree with me that the world should look different, and that humanity in its current form deserves nothing but else than to be obliterated. Instead, you act as if the world down there was the best possible one and worthy of being saved from the wrath of a god. Also, I will end your prophetic life right here, and with your very own mana, I shall set the world on fire and watch it burn with a smile on my face. Okay. A sail to get some status effects on him. Filthy glue. Sh chuck a meteor. Here. Fire blast. Have another meteor. Oh no, he's summoning more. Okay, now we just gotta take care of these angels. This seems they cannot move right away, so let's just go ahead and AoE spam. Blue crystal? Ugh, I, why? The blue crystal was the thing that drove him insane, but how? These things didn't do the same thing to me, and they didn't give me that big of a stat boost, allowing... Yeah, th these things would not allow me to tank... Uh, 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 to tank a bunch of meteors to the face like that. Okay, now I guess we head on home. There's nothing up here. Yeah. But uh, without the priest, what the heck uh, what the heck is the going to happen to the church? It's just going to remain there. They're, they're never giving me back my precious a uh, 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 super healing statue. Drats. Okay, give him the crystal. 16. 
That's not enough for the threshold. Okay, all, all the torches are lit up again, and I can use the Infinity Grinder again. And, of course, use this healing statue. Hmm, I wonder if I should get more cards. You hear a deep voice resonating from the pillars. You have mastered a game a second time which has happened only once before. I know exactly why you have returned, but if you want to wake Elora from her sleep and end the misery of her soul, you do require tremendous power. Therefore, I shall not simply hand you over the secret key. Instead, prepare for a battle once again. I shall test your strength with all that I have got. Elsa. Let there be hope. Dances furiously. Lord MP bite 15. Oh, what? Moment, why? Then Medio Crush. Oh, wow, it's almost dead. Here, attack and another Meteor. Two turns, but it's still got Bruce down to like half hit points, so that's not good. One should sense Enigma Key. Even though you should be happy and proud having obtained it, there seems to be no trace of joy inside you now that you hold the key. Uh, only as you put the ghastly thing into your bag, the inexplicable sadness slowly yields some relief. That was pretty much it for this one. Hope I don't need to do the Infinity Grinder anytime soon. Well, if I have to, I can always go back to the first portal and reactivate it. There should be different... I guess I have to check the overworld yet again. Hey, where'd the old man go? He must have... Oh no. Is he back in his house? No. Heart berry obtained here? No heart berry. Heart berry hidden behind this box, which I can now push upwards or not. Oh no, I can just push it like this now that I can have access to the top here. Now I got the Estragon. And now I need to talk to the Scarecrow. Okay, there's someone in the pool there, but I can't seem to interact with them. Nine out of nine. There's another. You found all the hidden items. Dark capsule obtained. Okay, that... Brings me up to five, but that means there's there might there's that's still an odd number. That's not good. I can't believe I forgot about this heartberry back here. Okay, that brings me up to an even number. Oh, what do we have hit there? You got some heartberries. Okay, let's turn in every single heartberry. Should be four left. Okay, this should be the last batch. I knew you'd love it. It's scarcely any magic involved. I think I've brewed quite a lot of healthy soups now. Maybe it's time for a break. I think I'm taking a long, comfy bath. What? I thought her dialogue would change or something. What? She didn't move from her spot at all. 
Hmm. Is this a glitch, or do I have to advance the story more? Okay, I'm gonna try sleeping and see if that changes anything about... <laughs> Linvey. Okay, Linvey is now in the pool here. Are you that curious? No. I really shouldn't stick my nose in her private belongings. I wouldn't want that either, right? Yeah, let's save before doing anything risky like that. But I will try uh, take the last secret... Uh, well, second to last secret of this area from here. Crucial circuit from her cauldron. I still need to get an item from the calm town. 29 out of 30. Calm down, it's just Linvey taking a nice comfy bath. Or, yes, let's see. Since she isn't looking... L Linvey's knickers? It might just be a super magical accessory item, isn't it? Better safe than sorry. Hey, just kidding. You stuffed the underwear back into the bag. Linvey's hat. No more sniffing around there. Wow, we're stealing from our friends. What is this hat? It increases max MP. Hmm. I don't really need drops that much anymore, so maybe I should equip it. Yes, having more max MP will inc increase the power of my group heals. Alright. The witch here left her house, so I can s now search it. And the lore asked from Shin to revive her sister, and he refused. At the Elven race in his ice, his creation most flawed in their arrogance. The princess drew forth the sacred weapon to bring death upon the god. From his weakened body, she drew the power that resided within. Raffle as she w uh, uh, more than ever was, however, her power, his power of creation turned into the power of destruction in the hands of the Fury. Extra container obtained. Okay, that should be... I think that's pretty much it for this area. The only thing I could also... Thing, the only other thing I could do here is try to do the blacksmith quest, but that's not going to be helpful for the Joker. But where did the witch go in the first place? Okay, never mind. It turns out that NPC we saw in the Lantern Maze, that was actually the witch. She was actually bathing there for some reason. There's another... Got all hidden items, star capsule obtained. It's the Elder again. You have made much progress on your quest. Not even I... Did... Uh, not even I didn't know what it was leading up to when you took your first steps as an adventurous back then. Now look at you, you were merely a young girl who had just moved to another village. Now you've become more powerful than the Key Warden. Even though you were not a fighter at all, in the classical sense, you were able to enter the game. That was quite an anomaly, but it happened for a reason. You certainly realized you were not the original target group of the game by finding all that near-useless fighter equipment in the Mystic Chest. Huh. It's commenting on her non crappy non-fighter class. <laughs> but you still found a way to beat it, making use of enemy loot in order to defeat those creatures with their own weaponry. I think... That is no less courageous. Now please accept this final gift from me. I hope it will prove useful in the upcoming finale of your adventure. Omega Cannon? Surprise, are you not? I used to be quite a decent engineer myself when I was younger. And this weapon is the product of my decade-long experience. Now go, Elsa. You were the chosen one, so it's only you who can face what lies ahead. As heroic as I wish I could make your leaving field, there's simply no other way. Meet your destiny once again and see what it has in store for you this time. Good luck. Omega Cannon. Neutral damage, but it doesn't have any skills attached to it. So which would be better? Hmm. If I can get filthy glue applied, then Fire Cannon would be better, wouldn't it? Well done, that is indeed the key you were supposed to obtain. Can you sense the malevolent magic it was created with? It's the key to the Hexagon Tower, the heroine's residence in a distant, almost forgotten place. By no means do I like rushing you, but even though it has already been an eternity since Elora locked herself inside the tower, time may be running out. The heroine who mastered the game died long ago, but what remained of her in this world has no intent other than sounding the bell of our doom. 
Is the vengeful spirit that, given maybe only a little more time, will break free and wreak havoc as never seen before. It has to be stopped by someone of comparable power. Someone who has accomplished the same feat as her being the game twice. It should not take you by surprise that it was me who discovered you as someone able to gain and wield such power. Of course it was me as well who reactivated the game for you to discover and unlock your full potential. You will need all of it when facing that uh, 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 facing what lies ahead. Therefore I want you to remain as brave as you have ever been. You should go now, Elsa. The rest of the details shall reveal themselves to you in time. Are you ready to depart? Can we re not return? That seems a little s bad because we actually we actually do need to return uh, uh, for, uh, in order to get uh, to complete the snow uh, the snowy areas hidden items. Yes, a certainty. I consider myself fully prepared. That sounds also confident. The challenge that awaits is definitely the hardest one you have ever faced. Vale, I do realize I will have to defeat the heroine, but I'm sure I can do that. I'll spam meteors. I've learned enough about Elora's corrupted image. Defeating her is the only way to ensure peace on this island. I won't let a vengeful spirit destroy my new home. You are an extraordinary girl, Elsa. I wish you all the best for the battle against Elora. May the power of the game be with you. There's no exit. There we are, Forgotten Desert, far, far away from home. Are you kidding me? Why would you... How are we supposed to get back? Are we supposed to... I guess if we defeat Elor, we might be able to find a way to permanently connect the two places. It looks like a beautiful place to me. Quite imaginable that in this place, I shall find the most evil being that exists on the, this island. Let's go and take care of it. New chapter to slay a heroine. Do I have the means to win this? Are there enemies out here at all? I hope there aren't like gloomers everywhere. That would really suck. That was my last chest key. All for the, uh, the elemental weapon. Oh, this place could be a little difficult to navigate. And there's an obelisk here. There's six hidden items I need to get before leaving this place, because I have a feeling I won't be able to return here very easily once I beat the heroine. If I beat the heroine. No telling if it's even possible with my current setup. Hmm. Um, let's gotta get over that pink chest. Now that I have the adventurer's ring, it should turn into a great potion. Something's over there. Um... Dude, I don't know how to get there. Oh, what the? I guess I can get there somehow. The bones seem to whisper to you. Could it be true? Are we actually doomed? I thought that mysterious man was just making up lies because he wanted to steal a crown himself. Have I been the fool again and once too often? What's that weird sound effect? It sounds like it should be activating something, but I guess it's just lore. Some kind of orc there. Uh, what's with that bone structure there? What the? It's so scary looking. It looks like a final boss. Good evening. I am Pigard the Bordian, Keeper of Oblivion. Can you help me? Sure. Um, yeah. Obsidian cube obtained. You need to bring this object somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where, because it was a long time ago that I received my sacred orders. I've completely forgotten my focus, but I'm certain you can figure out this quest sooner or later. Oh, and thanks, by the way. I don't have much to give you as a reward, so please accept this random number. Free. It's one of the smallest numbers I can think of. Hope it helps. Hmm. Alright, I'm supposed to deliver these cubes to the obelisk. You insert the obsidian cube into the indentation. To your quirky satisfaction, it fits perfectly. Yes, yeah, so I need to find three more of those orc... And then grab, uh, get their cubes, and put them in the other, uh, in the remaining uh, uh, obsidian obelisk. Okay, this time let's go to map four. This is left. Uh, this is to the right of map one. Ten cents and the great potion. Oh, a barrel. Ah, person. RTP blocking my way. Estragon obtained from that well. Another Estragon obtained. That's two of the secrets. 
I need to talk to that skeleton. The bones seem to whisper you. Here I am. Now, here am I now, a cursed and dying thief. So many regrets, so little time. I only wish I could see them once again. South of map 4 should be map 5. And there's another ghost I need to talk to. This would be one of the worst worlds to live in, since almost all passageways are only one block long. The bones seem to whisper to you. I will die soon, I know. If only we hadn't stolen that freaking crown. I had a bad feeling about it from the get-go. Why do I always follow orders? What kind of Ben am I? Good evening, I am Gruntinol the Bordian, Keeper of Oblivion. But by no means is it my mere presence that makes everyone out there forget about this desert. The part of the obelisk scattered around here and there, in the desert itself as well as on the island. I am facing a huge problem though. You see, the obelisk is outside the desert. How am I supposed to get there? It must be a quite a long trip. You're from the island, right? Can you help me? You certainly know a way to get back there, do you not? Or do you not? Uh... Yes? Yes, I'll help you. Oh, such relief. I don't actually know if I can get out- if I can exit this place, though. I don't know why they just make it a one-way portal for us. You think someone who could summon demons so casually would also be able to make a two-way portal for our convenience? Hi. Another one of the orcs. Granites obtained, but is anyone even going to use them? Got some money. The obsidian obelisk repressed the people's memories of this place. Can you go and reactivate the obelisk for me so it stays this way? You might have seen a few of them on your journey already. You should know where they are. I don't. I've forgotten. Seriously. I kid you not. We will fulfill this quest. Sure. Why not? I do have something really important to take care of, but I think I can handle another task. Do, do you want... So, you do want to help me. Seriously, that takes me a bit by surprise. I must say, but here you go. Take this one in the obelisk. Make sure not to forget about your promise then. I know it's hard not to forget things. Well, that's what the checklist in the room is for, but we don't have access to the room anymore, so we might forget anyways. <laughs> the bones seem to whisper to you. Where the hell am I? It's become so dark suddenly. Will I see the errors again? My friend's in the hideout. This can't be it. I refuse to leave this world, you hear me? I see an obelisk there. I don't think it matters what order I activate them in. I At least I hope. Who knows? This game is can be really finicky sometimes. I will even get there. I guess I have to get in from the other side. For now, I'll just look for other stuff. Great potions. Bones seem to whisper to you. I swear I will never steal again. I think. Heh, <laughs> sure you won't. Okay, from Sector 5, we go to Sector 8. Uh... I guess... Yeah, there we go. The bones seem to whisper to you. That's it. Life over. No dusting myself off and trying again this time. I'm hungry. Firstly and tired. And that won't change, ever. Seriously, there is no stopping me as far as eating, drinking, and napping are concerned. I don't think I can pursue my duty in this miserable condition. Would be so kind to set and help me? Sure. Well... Don't say a word, I know exactly what you're thinking. Someone must help this poor guy. It's not his fault, it's in his nature. And I'm the one to do it, goddammit. I'm gonna help him out as well as I possibly can. Well, if that's truly your wish, who am I to deny you? I have no such right. Another obsidian cube. You're very kind to me. That's really an excellent trait, I say. Please stay like that. Help the ones in need. Okay. Ten cents and great potion. What the heck is that crystal there? I'm not the type of guy to complete all of those side quests. If I complete them by accident, fine, but never would I go out of my way for them. You, on the other hand, look like someone who cares about quests, and even find some joy in completing them from time to time, am I right? So will you help me? Sure. Great. Obsidian Cube. I guess you know what you have to do with that cube. If not, you can certainly manage to find out yourself. Good luck. How do I get to... Okay. But what is this... Crystal? This rock certainly looks suspicious, but there's really nothing to it. Hmm... So weird. Bone seems to whisper to you. I don't really care where I die. It's been over all along. I shall try to find a nice spot for my bones to rest. No more is there to care about. Hmm. 
All right, from Sector 4, we head to Sector 10. Another one of you. Oh, if it's not adventurous, you're just in time. I have Look, I have this heavy cube that I need to bring somewhere, but I can't even carry it for a step. I don't want to borrow you, and I know you ha must have a ton of other things to do, being an adventurous and all that, but I'll ask you nonetheless. Can you help me? Why not? Wow, proper adventurous is helping me out. What a great day this is. I can't believe I'm being honored like that. Okay, thanks, bye. And sense and great potion. Fully recovered. Save in separate slot. Okay, I need to solve some kind of puzzle for that one, don't I? What's with this spot? Hmm. Alright. From Sector 9, we go to Sector 11. Another rock. What's with that pot? Why is it above the tree? Ten cents and great potion. Are there any more skeletons I need to look for? Five cents. Hmm. Wait, what? No, I must have gone the wrong way. That skeleton is all the way over there. Hmm. Let's jump like that. Bones seem to whisper to you. The ruins frighten me. I think I can hear screams from the people who which were killed that night. Or is it hell I hear? The noises that wave over the spectral road I walk there on. Hmm. Five cents. Okay, put in that obelisk. How many of these cubes do I have? Four cubes right now. Is that all of them? Estragon obtained. Hmm. There we go. Is that... What is that? Hello, well, hello. It's not the new heroine presaged by her favorite passed down prophecy, and not a day late. You look like you've been waiting in the sun for a while. You shouldn't make fun of someone as important as me, even though we're quite isolated here and have nobody to tell about your impertinence. Besides, my tan is absolutely gorgeous. There's no arguing about it. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. May I ask who you are? Me, a Master Hog, the Bordian Chieftain. We Bordians guard this faraway desert so it stays lingering in oblivion, unheeded by the rest of the world. Quite an important task to protect the place from curious tourists and the like, because you know, as you know, the heroine still dwells within that giant tower that, over there. I can't tell you how exactly it works, though. We only make use of the obelisk, but they were built by the Quan Vizj, the desert people, many centuries ago. The stuff you see scattered around is all that remained of their sophisticated civilization. What a bummer, right? Well, that's been enough storytelling for now. I'm getting a bit a little tired. Sealed chest. I'll have to come back here later somehow. Hmm. What? It took me to Northway? Okay, good. That makes my life a little easier. As Grandfather used to say, few things are where they seem to be. Blue crystal. And what does this one do? It takes me to the beginning of the desert. What the? You hear a sound in the distance. What does this do? Could it have some connection to the whispering boats you found? 
Okay, but I also need to activate this. Okay, I think that's all the uh, uh, obelisks in the desert, right? You have taken many steps, save your progress in various locations, and fought a whole bunch of battles, even against the bosses of the game. It's almost a miracle that you have achieved in, uh, uh, what you have achieved in such a little time. All right, I need to activate an obelisk. I think I've got all the ones in the desert, so gotta work on the ones in the overworld. Okay, should be one more in the overworld. I think it's in the elf village. Okay, that should be all of them, I think. Oh, so you've actually taken care of our job and reactivated all six uh, obsidian obelisks? I don't know what to say. That's really nice of you. Although I'm sure my men would have done it, like, you know, eventually, in the not-so-distant future. Hmm, so I guess I'm supposed to give you s something now. Some kind of reward, I mean. All that backtracking surely must have been a pain. Kinda was. Yeah, I know. And look, it's irrevocably decided. I'll just give you this thing I found the other day. Oh, come on. Of course you can accept it. Lobby drops. Apparently these earrings were made from the most obscure creature that ever walked the earth. Or, I mean, wobbled. I don't know if they do anything. I never put them on. I'm not the earring type of bore. But I'm sure that's exactly your thing. You're a girl, after all. Sure am. Just don't spend all day in front of the mirror, please. You have a heroic journey to bring to a satisfactory end. Hmm. Increases hit points. The chest starts to shake, then opens. 100 cents... Rainbow Ribbon. This is supposed to be a combination of a lot of the basic accessories I've found, such as Blobby Drops, Linvay's Hat, and Skywalkers. You were supposed to find the basic accessories before finding this one. Somehow I managed it. Yes, item drop rate does not stack, though. Only girls can equip. Hmm. But is there anything in particular I should stack with this? Maybe Linvay's Hat so I can... Do even more crazy heals, or should I do this for balanced stats? Hmm. Okay, I think there's something here I need to activate. Yeah, the, the store has no keyhole, so, but the keyhole is located a little bit in a separate part of the map. Now I can enter it whenever I need to, but not yet. I still want to do some prep work. Hmm. You know, with all the stress gone, maybe it's time to start a more healthy diet. You happen to have some nuts, for example? They're rich in nutrients. You know, nuts may very well be an abbreviation for nutrients, don't you think? I see you do actually have some strange nuts in your inventory. They will do. Hand over the nuts. Yummy, here's something in exchange. One cent. You have enough nuts. He's still asking. You know, nuts. He's saying the same thing. I see. You actually, do have some strange nuts. They'll, they'll do. Okay. Here's something in exchange. Uh, why are you still? How many nuts do I have left? Wyvern egg. The third one's a wyvern egg. Hmm. Hmm, a new map. Whoa. Can these... It looks like this one can only move within the, the dotted line. This is such a confusing and messy looking map. A barred book about chess puzzles, but that's not for me. Look at all this gold. Is that a golden tank? What am I kind of structure am I trying to build here? 
a middle finger? Test key. Oh, good. I guess I have to solve a puzzle to get to the guy in the back. Uh... Okay, so I... Okay, there we go. How I get to you? Well met, I'm a spellbreaker, even though my proficiency is not actually breaking spells with chest seals. Okay, saying the same thing. Needs a black material, yes. Yeah, why the heck not? Which one? I already broke storm, so let's go for sun this time. A break decision, so the solar seal shall be broken. And now he'll disappear. I have to find him one more time to break the remaining type of seal. Uh, okay, it's kind of really hard to navigate like this. There we go. What's with this part here with all the boxes? Blue crystal. Estragon obtained. I think that's the last one for the hidden items. A switchboard with five rows of buttons. The number 100 is carved into the metal. Hmm. Eight. Twenty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-nine. Corrosive glue obtained. A new gear. Hmm. It's different from... The... Uh, the filthy glue, huh? Got all of them. Another. Not all hidden items in this region. Star capsule obtained. Got 20 gold and sacred scepter. Holy damage certain hit. What's the point of jumping there? Estragon. Wait a minute, there was a secret item here, but didn't I already find all, the, all six secrets? That's so weird. Huh. Okay, I think this is also a sun chest. Devil's Cane obtained. Dark damage. Eighteen. That's not enough. 20 gold. Artica wand. That one's probably ice damage. I came here looking for something to eat that really fills me. That Garuda over there looks tasty, but I don't have any weapons, nor monster hunts tank skills. That wyvern egg you have there may just be what I'm looking for. I could boil it right here in the lava too, or is it magma? Whatever it is, I do need that egg. Please, give it to me. In exchange, I'll give you something nice and... I promise. You do look starved. Here you go. Well, thank you so much, but you just got scammed, girl. Here's an item nobody needs. Crash symbol. Look at that useless piece of trash. Enemy explosions, huh? There's no such thing, is there? You're too naive. Simple as that. Leave this. Let this be a lesson to you. Now leave me alone. I need to boil this egg. Twenty gold and lightning fork. Twenty gold and torchlight. My froze destroys these ruins. Do you have something to drink? Something for a real man? After some hesitation, you hand over the nasty brew. That's it, thank you. Let me give you this in exchange. Crash symbol. Thanks again, I feel much better now. Good thing they gave me an extra one from digging, otherwise I would have failed that one. Raises enemy explosion rate. Hmm. Okay, I have some bad news. It turns out I screwed up Liam's quest. Apparently, I'm not supposed to talk to him at- I'm not supposed to wake him up, otherwise I lose the chance to do his quest. So yeah, I'm screwed. That sucks. 
And that means I miss out on Titanium Fred, which means I miss out on the final mojo for uh, uh, for this uh, uh, Joker class. You made it, Elsa. We stand inside the Hexagon Tower. This is the place from which Elora is said to watch over us by night. Of course, we both know that she does not actually watch over anyone, and she never did. Contrary to people's belief, this tower houses a malicious being obsessed with a revenge that cannot be taken anymore. There is not much left between you and your final destination. Up there, you'll find that unfortunate woman, or whatever it, it is that remained of her. You have to go and kill Alora's vengeful image. Even though many out there do not even suspect any danger yet, you are the only hope for us all. Good luck, young heroine. We shall meet once uh, again once your final quest has been completed. Uh... What the? That was the answer? Just to make a match? Okay. You use the last chest key. Obtain first aid. More like tardy aid now that we're here. Is that an actual item? Party aid? No, it's just first aid. Which direction? Hmm. Let's head down first. It doesn't work. So I have to do something up here first? What? There's enemies. Oh no. Electro spawn? They're so fast. Enemy exploded? What the? I heard there was a chance of this, but still. All the elemental enemies. Do I have to fight these guys every time I go up here? I hope not. That would be very annoying. And a huge strain on resources. He exploded? Huh. I don't suppose that would work on boss enemies? Okay, this is taking really long. Hopefully we'll get through this someday. Come on, just when we thought we were in the clear. Okay, good, there's a healing statue. Grim Reaper. Deals damage to all enemies with chance to kill instantly. Yeah, that would have helped a lot earlier, huh? Fully recovered. Unfortunately, the enemies will respawn, so I guess I have no choice but to just head on out.
What is that? A mere human made it here to the top of my tower. I have to admit, I'm a little impressed. Even after grinding out the tower key, the spawn should have made short shrift of any interloper. All oh, right, I understand it now. You are that little saviorist Vale has been rabbiting on about for who knows how long. The one to redeem me. Poor Vale, she has gotten obsessed with the idea of redemption, even though I told her a thousand times I actually enjoyed living like this. Passionately, one might say, and indeed more powerful than any being before me. After hearing her words and probably the ones of the old geezer who failed to protect the key, do you really think of me as an enemy? Words can be powerful, but now that I am standing here in front of you, could you really fight me? Could you kill me, child? Are you fully convinced you know who the evil one is in the story? What monster to slay in order to just satisfy your ever so heroic sense of justice? Ha ha. Think about it, did I not save humanity back in the days? And was it not my duty to find a way to save humanity over and over again? Me, the only one capable? It is not difficult, I would argue, to see the good intentions. And what about you, Saverus? How can you tell worthy from unworthy life? I see in your rattled eyes that you were not expecting me to appear this human now, were you? A ghost you could have slain rather easily, but someone of flesh and blood. That is another story entirely, am I right? You heroines are all the same in this regard, showing the same weakness and thinking that like mere humans despite your superhuman powers. Your deeds resemble those of a true heroine like me, but your feeble mind does not in the slightest. It's enough now with the talk. The likes of you will never understand a true heroine's motives anyway. This is precisely what sets us two apart, little saviorist. I will have absolutely no regrets getting rid of you. In fact, I think I will thoroughly enjoy it. To you, there is nothing heroic about me, and therefore I fully understand your desire of liberating me, that is, removing me from this world. I even agree that even though my deeds prevent the end of the world, I am certainly no enrichment anymore. Feeblement. I'm going to meteor you. This is going to take a while. You know, we would have been a great team back in the days, you and I. I could have taught you the way of a true heroine, and you would certainly still be devoted to me. Devoted to a mere image which consists only of hatred and wrath and a longing for vengeance. A blind follower of the heroine like everyone else. Ugh. I'm going to need to do some fire-type damage here. More meteors to the face. Buffing herself. Nice crit! The enemy explodes. Wait, you can explode bosses too? Oh, I got a blue crystal. But, but there's still two more in this tower that I need to get. Hopefully winning this battle unlocks the rest of the tower for me. And what? She shattered? Okay, I guess I can leave now. Without any expression on her face, what had remained of the heroine was frozen and shattered on the ground. A mixture of excitement, fear, and a vague idea that you might have done something terribly wrong slowly grows on you. Even though you have emerged victorious from the heated battle, you feel, feel no relief at all. What am I looking for in here? I don't think there's anything I can do in this room. I checked the files. Okay, now would be a good time to save. Uh, really sucks about the cat, though. Not that I needed the cat's help to beat that boss, but still. And now the slow elevator down. Take lift down completed. Gonna check. Done. What was that? L leave lift done.
Oh, I can go down now. But do I still have to fight enemies on the way? That would be annoying. Really w wish the enemies, uh, uh, when going up to the top, would have disappeared. Okay, this is a blue crystal. Allure tried to transfer her soul into Vale's body, but since soul and body were incompatible, the attempt failed. It only tore Allure's soul into 21 pieces. Wait, 21 is the same number as the blue crystals. A mirror image of her remained in the world, sustained by a single one of the pieces. Heroine's Crypt. Something strange about the torch. Must be a mechanism that opens the bars. Even after beating that supposed final boss, there's still so much more here. We can't decipher the words. Pointless. All that's left is the moon seal. Moon. A thoughtful decision, so the lunar seal shall be broken. We are done. I broke the seal you wanted me to break, and that is all I can serve you with. Farewell, be well, child. Another strange torch. And a save point. One f crystal looks out of place here. Okay, that should be enough to complete the collection, but I need to do something about this, this challenge here first. I have a bad feeling about this. Do I really want to open this thing? Hmm. Yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Filthy glue, medial crush. What? It only took half damage from medial crush? It must have some physical resistance gimmick. Well, it didn't last very long against the Meteor. Allure's Vengeance, a weapon I cannot equip, but might as well get it anyways. Never know when I'll need it. Is this Allure's bo real body? Hmm. Okay, open, yes. Another robot. And turn one. Elora's wrath. Why does she have so many weapons? I guess so. You can. Do I think that that's because you can dual wield weapons as a fighter. I guess. Okay, open. Another robot. It will fall just like the rest.
100 cents and Elor's Valor. Final one. And then we can get out of here. Hmm. It survived. It has a physical attack having ability. Wondered sense. Alors trust. But no one trusts you anymore. Okay, well that the this this dungeon is officially conquered, I think. Okay, I should be ready to leave now. There you are, Elsa. I'm glad you made it. And you did even better than expected. You have become much stronger than you should have, to be completely honest here. But I know there, that is nothing to be bothered about. In fact, this world may need a strong heroine like you. A true one, that is, as opposed to the power first the monster Elor had become towards the end of her journey. Even though she and I had been allies in the battles of the game, I actually mistrusted her for most of the time. Of course, I should have done something about her when I still could, but the little hope I had for her salvation prevented me from confronting her. I am sorry I had you do this work for me, but never could I have become as strong as you have. Moreover, I am not completely sure where I, having been close to her for such a long time, could have coped with the task I had to pass on to you. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done for all of us. I should get away from this place and have a brief moment for myself. Please visit me on the Moonlight Plateau, will you? N a new chapter. Let's finish this off. Do I have to fight Vale now? Whoa, a little bit of lag spike there. And why is it nighttime? What's going on? It's no storytelling for now. I'm getting tired. Wait, it's it's normal here now. What? But this place is at but the desert's at, stuck at night. Uh, before I do anything, I need to go inspect the ch remaining chests. Also, my dear. This is where your journey really began, isn't it? You went over the bridge into the unknown, bravely. I can't even suspect what kind of dangerous adventure you were on, and how foolish it I was, uh, it was I to not realize before it had completely unfolded. I talked to the Elder and came f to fully understand what you've done for all of us. Who would have thought you would grow up this way? You barely knew anyone around here, and yet you managed to get all the help you needed from the kind people living on this island, even if they blocked my way a lot. They provide you with a powerful robot, with useful items and key information, all of which you needed to succeed. I'm very sorry you had to go through all that. At the same time, however, I'm proud of you. Naturally. No mother could be prouder of her child, I guess. Always take care, dear. Don't know who the wizard is. Got frog soul. Raises TMP and modifies staff attacks. The pub. Oh, and what are you doing on this side? Why are you saying that? You're not... Whatever. I'm just gonna take your stuff now. Some waver, uh, some beer balls, right? Many centuries ago, the demons were born from the evil in the human heart, and a circle of twelve crusaders, warriors of the Holy Light, was founded to raise them in battle. One after another, however, they finally succumbed to the eternal darkness and slowly became demons themselves, striving to oppose all good in others. Chest key obtained. Now I can open the remaining chest. Goblet of Fire. I can't talk to you, can I? I don't- why do they- that's such a random spot for taking a bath, and it's, it looks- and I can't believe they managed to keep it hot, too. Uh, it really sucks about that cat quest. Ugh. That I hope that titanium thread doesn't turn out to be the best weapon in the game or something. Or best mojo. 
20 cents and Subing Spear. Even though I already have it. Okay, Elora has been checked off. What a sad accomplishment. Blue Crystals, Obsidian Obelisk completed. Okay, I can probably turn the Blue Crystals right now, actually. But if these are all pieces of Elora's soul, I don't know if I want them all in the same place. Okay, let's just turn in the... Uh, reward, uh, turn this one and get Star Capsule. I never, almost never use these, but who knows, maybe someday I will. Nice to skip you for now, I need to actually get back inside. There's still a, tr a moon seal chest in there. Rosen Elixir? Okay, so I have to talk to her. Thank you for coming, Elsa. I know I have made, uh, have made you go through a lot. I appreciate your willing to talk to me. The woman who has made you slay the heroine. Anyway, my trust in you was indeed well placed, was it not? With your destiny fulfilled, it's finally time for me to leave. I do not wish to return to the Moonlight Palace, nor would I be able to return to an ordinary life. Please keep the mask and the key safe for me, will you? Earth, well, Savioress. Is that it? What to do now? At this point, all I can do is turn in the blue crystals, but I, I, I'll save that for next video. Seems like it's going to unlock some more content for me. Hopefully I can see more enemies explode. <laughs> Even bosses can explode, but there's not much point unless they have minions left. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Game Master Plus. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.